you know, it really sucks because this time of year, I almost get to the point where I get almost a little bit paranoid driving at night because there's so many freaking drunk drivers. Um, like last night, I was driving and uh, the guy right up here like stops at the stop sign like way back like this. Okay, he stops like this far away from the stop sign and then just goes right through the stop sign like that. And dude, I was just like, and then I watch him follow two more stop signs. Okay. And then he stops, he stops like that far back. And I'm kind of like wondering, what the hell are you doing, dude? You know? And then he stops right here at this intersection and, and then starts to go straight right up this driveway. And then he stops like, oops, I'm going the wrong way. It's like, what the hell, man? What, what are you driving for, dude? You know? It's weird this time of year, you know, you got to, you know, in December, it's December 2018, you know, you really have to watch out for drunk drivers. I mean, there, I don't understand with all the checkpoints and everything else, how there can be so many of them. And there's, you know, I, I even see them and you just have to really watch out. You have to be on your more past defensive. You have to be offensive. You have to be like, Oh shoot, there's one coming, you know, move out of the damn way, you know, so I don't know, it's, it's kind of sucks driving in December, it really does, um, especially before Christmas and even up to, up to New Year's, all the way up into there, I'm just constantly paranoid driving, saw two wrecks last night. So real quick, I just want to say, um, they should have a new law um, called obliterated driving. You know, most of these people that I'm seeing driving are like beyond 0.08 is like not even close. They're like 0.25 or 0.30 or more that are driving that are that freaking out of it. They can't even focus and running, you know, going through and going up in the weeds. I mean, they should just immediately take their license away for a year. That should be just mandatory nationwide because that those people are the ones that, you know, I mean, somebody's just barely 0.08, you know, and that's not good either, but I'm just saying that, you know, people who are causing these accidents that kill, you know, 12 people and they get out of the car and walk away, those guys are like usually way past the limit, you know, it's just crazy, but anyway, you know, I still don't think it's a good idea to drink at all and drive, but anyway, that's just my opinion. I was going to say when I was uh, driving on that road that looked really rural, I'm actually only two major, I was only two major blocks from the CHP office, which I'm going to pass right now. I'm two major blocks over from that, heading back. And, uh, you know, people think, oh, well, that's really a rural road. So they, you know, or they, they're driving on that. You know, that's, I understand. No, they're two major blocks from the CHP office. And the CHP, when they change shifts, they drive that same road all the time. So it's like, you know, they could be going or coming to the CHP. There's a CHP office right there. Um, they could be going there or coming there and changing shifts. And they're only two major blocks from there. So <laughs> these people, you know, it's just like, you know, and you might think, well, you know, they're on rural road, you know, they're not. It's only two major blocks in the CHP office.